what mass of calcium oxide is obtained from the thermal decomposition of 23 grams of calcium carbonate, assuming a 35% yield. So this problem is about stoichiometry, and when you are dealing problems regarding stoichiometry, you should be looking for a balanced chemical reaction. So in our problem, this is the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate. So the reaction for that is calcium carbonate, when you subject it into heat, it will decompose into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. So if you check, this reaction is already balanced. So we can proceed to the calculations. So step one is to calculate the theoretical yield of calcium oxide. So in the problem, we are given 23 grams of calcium carbonate. So if we have 23 grams of calcium carbonate, we will compute how much calcium oxide forms. So how do we do that? We start with 23 grams of calcium carbonate, convert that into moles of calcium carbonate. From moles of calcium carbonate, convert it to moles of calcium oxide. And from moles of calcium oxide, convert that to grams of calcium oxide. So starting from 23 grams of calcium carbonate, in order to convert this into moles, we need the molar mass of calcium carbonate. And the molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100.09 grams per mole. So you put one mole on top, and at the bottom, you put 100.09 grams. So grams will cancel. Now you have moles of calcium carbonate. Next is to convert moles of calcium carbonate into moles of calcium oxide. And how do we do that? We look at the balanced chemical reaction. So according to the balanced reaction, one mole of calcium carbonate forms one mole of calcium oxide. So you simply put that into your conversion. One mole of calcium carbonate at the bottom and one mole of calcium oxide on top so that the moles of calcium carbonate will cancel. And finally, convert moles of calcium oxide into grams of calcium oxide. Now you will need the molar mass of calcium oxide which is equal to 56.08 grams per mole. So you put one mole of calcium oxide at the bottom and on top you put 56.08 grams. So that the moles of calcium oxide will cancel and your final unit would be grams of calcium oxide. Now, if you plug this whole equation into your calculator, you can solve for the theoretical yield of calcium oxide, which is equal to 12.89 grams of calcium oxide. So that's the theoretical yield. Step two, you need to calculate the actual yield of calcium oxide because the problem is asking for the actual yield. According to the problem, the percent yield is 35%. And we know that the formula for percent yield is actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100. So the percent yield is 35%. That is equal to 
the theoretical yield which we solved in step 1 is 12.89 grams. The actual yield is unknown, so we'll just leave it as is, times 100. So how do we solve for actual yield? You divide both sides by 100. So 100 will cancel on the right side. So you have actual yield divided by 12.89 grams. And on the left side, you have 35 divided by 100. That is 0 0.35. To solve for the actual yield, you need to multiply both sides by 12.89. So 12.89 grams will cancel on the right side. And what is left on the right side is actual yield. On the left side, you have 12.89 grams times 0 0.35. That is equal to 4.5115 grams. If you want to round your answer into two significant figures, the actual yield is approximately equal to 4.5 grams. And this is the answer to the question.